from the mother who claimed she had unintentionally taken illegal drugs. So is that what you took? Huh? Is that what you took? Sir, I didn't take it, Will. And did you not just hear what I said? No, I, I walked in after the fact. Can you not yell okay. at To the mother who shot her son's toe off during an argument. <laughs> I didn't even do anything wrong. My kids are fine. To another parent who thought it was a good idea to leave their kids unattended and evade the police. Here are five cases where abusive parents received a one-way ticket straight to jail, starting with the most irresponsible parent of them all. On March 16, 2024, deputies from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office were deployed to a Florida beach after a report of a couple who had passed out drunk on the beach. Upon arrival, the officers expected to encounter an overzealous couple who had likely indulged in a bit too much drinking, only to find themselves facing the most irresponsible parents ever. What's up, guys? Sheriff's office. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Hey, guys. Oh. Yep, time to wake up, guys. Hey! Hey! The sheriff's office! Wake up! Need to sit up! Come on, get up! All wake right. up! All Welcome right. back! Sit up! Alright! Why can't have alcohol on the beach? Alright! You got ID? Huh? Do you have ID? The couple were completely intoxicated, requiring considerable time and effort for the officers to rouse them. However, their public drunkenness was nothing in comparison to the alarming discovery the officers made as they began to interrogate the couple. Do you guys have children with you? Give him my ID or I'm yours. Are they with you? Hey, your kids with you? Yes. Where are they? Hey, Where are your kids? kids? Right there. Here and then here. Where are the kids? I got this. I'll go no. with him. No. Okay. Here, I'm gonna, I'll go with him. Show me where your kids are. Guys, hey! How old are they? Seven to eight. Boys, girls, boy and a girl? Boy and a girl. Okay, you don't know where they are? They had no clue about the whereabouts of their five and seven-year-old children, highlighting their extreme irresponsibility. Several officers immediately initiated a search, fearing the children could be in grave danger. Thankfully, after over 30 minutes, the kids were found safe playing unsupervised in the hotel pool nearby. With the children located safely, there remained only one course of action for the officers to take, and the couple clearly had it coming. Try. Bobbing your hand. It's work. Work? Yeah, yeah. something you wouldn't know about. I need you to come get the kids. Me and Timothy are both being arrested. Is somebody able to come get the kids? Come get the kids. Why Me am I being arrested? Me and Timothy are both being arrested. Uh, alcohol on the beach and the, child neglect. Can you tell them where we're at? Can you tell them where we're at? Yeah, sure, we're not allowed yeah. to have uh, any beer at the beach. beach right? Right. It's, illegal. It's, huh? yeah, it's, it's illegal to have alcohol on the beach. Right. Is it? Yes. I thought it was not oh, glass. Nope, oh, glass is not allowed, but neither is alcohol. Can you please give me a Because what happens is people get drunk and then they draw them out. I only have like two beers. Two is still illegal. Two is still illegal? <laughs> two is still illegal? No, the f cops here are dead. This this lady is the only person that's been nice. Him, him, everybody else has been. So now we both go to fucking jail. Who the fuck is gonna bond us out? No one. Exactly. Now my grandpa has to drive eight hours to get the kids. No, I wanna I wanna listen to what my grandpa has to say. I wanna make sure my kids are 
take care of. I don't, we can roll down the window. I'm sorry, but... We can roll down the window. The woman claimed to care so much about her children, but her actions definitely proved otherwise. And as the officers attempted to load them into the vehicle for transport to jail, the man attempted one of the most foolish acts ever captured on a police body camera. Get in the truck and I'd like to get in yourself. So I want you to make sure my kids are in the truck. Where are my kids going to go? I'm going to the Family Resource Center. So they're going to take care of them. They'll feed them. They'll clothe them. And they'll be comfortably waiting for the number. Was it father or grandfather or us? Okay? You need to get in the truck, okay? You're drawing this out too long, you said you want to get this over with. Okay? You got it? Stupid. Yeah, you're not going to be talking about it. Call an ambulance, please. Hey! He sustained serious injuries and required hospitalization following his ill-advised attempt to evade the officers. The couple faced felony child neglect charges, with the man also facing additional charges for attempted escape and possession of alcoholic beverages on the beach. You might think this couple's actions were terrible, but wait till you meet the next parent who took child neglect to an unprecedented level. Okay, this is ridiculous. It is. It sure is. Actually, it does. They're the one that called 911. Who called 911? The kids that were here. They're outside right now crying because they thought you were dead. What? On March 27th, 2023, police officers from Oklahoma City responded to a distress call after a child reported his mother's failure to respond to calls from inside the bathroom for several hours. Upon arrival, they were greeted with the most unusual and unbelievable sight imaginable. You okay? Ma'am. She's moving. She's responsive. If I kick the door in. Yeah. Hello? Police department of fire. Can you move? Okay. The drawers in the way. You all have better tools than I do. I'm mad that I was kicking the door. Yeah, something on the top Let's break the door, huh? Is that her right there? Yeah. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, she's getting smashed. Yeah, her, her legs. Under, okay. I cut her legs or something. Anybody got anything smashed against her real quick? Yeah, I got nothing on here. That's heavy enough to do that. Hey! Yeah, let's pull it. Let's pull it. Let's pull it. You been drinking or you been yeah. doing drugs? Three nines. She's semi alert. Uh, uh -huh. Fire's here working with her. We will need them, so. I don't mind there. 97. Yeah, top. So you have your Perfect. tin foil there. Brown all over your nose and wrist. <laughs> hey, how about we be some honest here since we got kiddos that called us and you're over here passed out? It is ridiculous. You're leaving kids unattended while you're over here getting your little high fix. That, that is ridiculous. So let's work with them and try to help some things out. The officers had to forcibly break through the door as she was completely unresponsive. Upon gaining access to the bathroom, they discovered powder residue on her nose, a lighter clutched in her right hand, an aluminum foil with burn marks in her other hand, and it didn't take a rocket scientist to decipher what she had been up to. With assistance from the officers, she was helped up, and medics tended to her while the officers began asking serious questions. I'm telling you, the cops came in, we spoke with them earlier, and we explained all this to him, to the police, the actual policeman. He apparently did so, drugs, and the lady that is over these apartments, which is my best friend's mother-in-law, um, is a judge. And we explained all this to her, like she okay. was here, they had all this done. Okay, but let's, so, let's focus, let's focus can on Can please right again, can you shut I've, that door? Um, I, the neighbors have been nothing besides crazy since because, and that was because the people that owned here, apparently it was a big old drug house. Despite saying many words, she made little sense at all. The officers, not wanting to waste their time, redirected the questioning back to the crucial matters at hand. I'm just trying to figure out why there's aluminum foil in the bathroom. I was just in the bathroom, and apparently that's where he'd done that, right up in that shelf. So, or not the shelf, the ceiling. 
Like, I literally just took my medicine and was getting ready to take a shower and get my kids. How did he do it in there, and how were you not able to leave the bathroom? Sir, I just got here. We were starting to clean everything to get out. The next thing I know, I was I took my medicine. You were passed out know, in the bathroom. Do you not hear what I'm telling so you? How, how, did he just leave you passed out in the bathroom? Sir, he was not here. The cops just picked him up. The right. cops just got him within him not functioning or not functioning with them or anything. I literally opened the door, took it's a Jared Nair name on there. So when, not, when was he taken away today? Oh, uh, like, went on one, two o'clock. We we got here like maybe twenty minutes ago. And whenever we got here, you were passed. Are you out. not hearing what Unco I said? I I just, you were unconscious in the I just bathroom. took my medicine, right. went to the bathroom right. to pee. Yes, my, it was got to take it three times a day. Apparently, right. that's where he had his medicine balled up in that with a foil, a, uh, a bag or whatever. I was literally on the pot sitting there within the time, and then the next thing I know, I was in the floor, and this has happened. You can look at my, you can look at my veins or all this crap. She attempted to excuse the drug paraphernalia found on her by blaming her boyfriend, alleging he had been apprehended by the police earlier that morning, insinuating she passed out from mere exposure to the substance. However, the officers were not convinced. Seeing her first excuse fail, she quickly devised another, claiming the illegal drug had somehow mixed with her medication, and judging by the officers' reactions, they were clearly unimpressed with her latest explanation. Whatever it happened, is it that strong to do? Like, I, I don't know exactly what was in the bottle besides of what I heard y'all say. Shouldn't make you pass out. Not my medicine, I'm saying the stuff this powder stuff that was on my medicine in the bottle. Remember what the powder was? They said it was fentanyl, that's what he was on. Well, if it was fentanyl, you want to be breathing right now, and this would be a whole different situation. That's what he did, so. It was powder form. He done it, got it right down here from the people about down below with their drug sellers. A bit and all. Exhausted by her never-ending lies and excuses, the officer grew impatient and made it clear to her they were not there to play games. You took? Huh? Is that what you took? Sir, I didn't take it, Willow. I mean, did you not just hear what I said? No, I, I walked in after the fact. Can you not yell okay. at me? I'm so, just asking. Okay. So don't, don't give me attitude either, okay? I walked in after the fact. I don't, I don't, I, I just showed up, okay? All I know is you were passed out. That's all I know. Okay, when you okay. get the rest of the story, we can talk. Because okay. you're not going to, I'm going to argue. So then you just keep your mouth shut then, okay? We're not, we're not talking. I'm not asking you any questions or anything. Excuse me, I can talk. This okay. is my house. All right. And actually, um, could you step outside? No. Because you can step no. outside. Uh, unless you have a warrant, you're not no, supposed to. No, I, I have a legal okay. reason to be here. Okay. So. Well, like I said, my mom, my mom is a judge. That's fine. So this is, a, that is, is recorded, fine. so that's fine. That is completely fine. There's okay. no reason for you to trick me like that's I'm fine. a judge. I, I just got the guy out up here that was. Good. So, you do not have to I'm be disrespectful, and neither do I. Okay. Um, who am I speaking with? Are you the paramedic? Paramedic. paramedic? Okay. Um, can I get a shirt on because I do not like treat been treated by this officer. Yeah. Like I am some freaking drug. Like I have no clue who he is, and he's not gonna come here and disrespect me in my home because okay, he's a cop. It, it has nothing, but he's not gonna sit here and act like this to me in my home. This is ridiculous. Can we do a few more questions? Get we it over with. Get a shirt we on. Can. And get everything over. We can, okay. but he's not gonna treat me like what, I'm. What I'm an you? LPN to at Mercy Hospital. What your like. Heart? What's your first and last name for me? My name is Ashley West. If this lady truly held a license as a licensed nurse practitioner, then the American medical system is in total mess. She continued to lie through her teeth. And after enduring over 10 minutes of her incessant deceit, the officers reached their limit and decided they had heard enough. I don't feel comfortable going in and getting Okay, up. well, not too bad. Well, we're okay. going to stand up and do the cuffs. Huh? We're going to go ahead and stand up. I don't care. We're going to, I don't care how comfortable you feel or not feel. Huh? We're standing up. Okay, I mean, what am I going to, what is going on, like, as far as, can you, like, send me what I'm getting, like, am I going to jail, yes. or, for what? Job, job and what? Because I took my medicine and it had all this more. Okay. This is ridiculous. Sure is. Like, y'all. Sir, please do not be rude to me. I don't know. I'm not. I pulled. I know. I, I, I. You want me to be rude? I could have left the pulled in fire on your kids. I pulled over here so your kids aren't seeing handcuffs. That That's not I'm being rude. That's being considerate. Not explaining what y'all's doing. I like, just told you you're going to jail. 
Smoke your pills, huh? I don't smoke my pills. Like y'all are not listening. To okay, well, I was there when I kicked in the door, and I opened and, and y'all in. They, they did not. In. You did not. I didn't let fire, you. Fire! Fire tore the door off the hinges. I'm talking about this morning. We weren't here this morning. This is this afternoon. I'm talking Six about when she was taken into custody, where she was found to have an outstanding misdemeanor warrant for neglect of family, in addition to being charged with child neglect. Her children underwent testing at the hospital for potential exposure to illegal substances, and subsequently, they were entrusted to the Department of Children and Families. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next case, the parent messed up so badly, even the police officers couldn't believe what she had done. You Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? You don't know? Found her. I'm seeing how this looks, right? I do. What's your drug of choice? My, my drug of choice is alcohol, but like, I, I... Florida police officers responded to a call at a bar in DeLand, Florida, after the owner reported a concerning incident. A seven-year-old girl had entered the bar, searching for her mother who had left her unattended in a car for hours. Hey, hey you doing, man? So, uh, Jason. So we've got a little girl inside. Yeah. And, um, her mom was here earlier. Okay. She looks just like her mom, which is, like, immediately... When she came in, she came in after we closed. She walked up to the door, and she was immediately welcomed. Because like, why is there a little kid here? Because I, I actually got under my seat, and I was like, brought their kid to a bar this thing. And I realized she's just missing. She just doesn't know where her mom is. And that's our problem. We've got a little girl inside. Her name is mom's name is Victoria. Um, I've tried calling her mom several times. I've actually tried asking her last names and going on Facebook. Finding, maybe trying to find mutual friends. I've tried everything, guys. What's the, how'd you get the phone number? She's actually a regular here. She actually used to work here a long time ago. The girl's mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but that's, that's, that's it. Gotcha. But, I mean, I, I have, I have tried everything. You have an address for her? I don't. Okay. Um, you don't have her last name? No. Okay. The, I think probably the little girl does. Yeah. I, I, I think I, ha I had the, the guy's <laughs> last name. I have a, a solid phone number, so I didn't ask for the last name. Alright. Can I have your names? Huh? Can I have your names? Hey, Chris. Uh -huh. nice. Not only did this woman abandon her daughter in the car to go socialize in a bar, the time was also 3 a.m., meaning she left her child alone in a car in a parking lot at an extremely late hour. As the cops proceeded to have a conversation with the girl inside the bar, the officers uncovered even more evidence of how irresponsible the mother was. Hey, my friends, they're heroes. <laughs> Chris. How you doing? I love your little pumpkin. <laughs> uh, yeah? Okay. Where'd you walk from? Um, I walked from my mm -hmm. car. Alright, this is on you guys. We're out. <laughs> Alright. It's okay. Where you came from, okay? You want to sit in that comfy booth with them? You want to yeah. sit with us? It's okay. Uh, what's your mom's name? Um, her name is Veronica Roxanne. Uh, Veronica, what was the last name? Oh, yeah. Roxanne. 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 Bell. Bell? Yeah. Okay. Her name is Roxanne and her last name is Bell. You're awesome at this. You Where's your mommy at? Sit next to me if you need to, okay? I don't know. You don't know? You said you walked from your car. Yeah, because um, she, I fell asleep during it, and then she has a bed there ever since. Because we um, got there and like had it, and then and then I, my mom said it wouldn't be long, and then she, um, after like five to ten minutes, she she just haven't came back. Okay, where is your car around here somewhere? Um, yeah, it's over there. I can show you it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Easy way to solve this. Run the tag on the car, get mom's name, get mom's address, emergency like contact number. Based on the girl's testimony, the officer entertained the possibility that her mother might not have left her unattended, but instead encountered danger herself. However, as they proceeded to the car and conducted further investigation, they would soon discover how mistaken their assumptions were. Are you just helping us? Okay. Okay. 
You tell them anything that you feel like you need to tell them. Okay. And they found skydive the land. Oh boy. Phone. You found skydive the land? Phone? Yeah, there's a phone in there. Oh, yeah. I, my mom didn't take her phone. You left her phone and her baby? It can maybe be in any of these buildings. She walked off to one, but I can't see where because she turned the lights off. Okay. Has this ever happened before? Um, no. She never leaves the car without me. No? Okay. She said it's something really important. And she said it would be a real quick when it hasn't because it was like, was like five to ten minutes. Which way did you say she walked? Um, I couldn't see because she turned the, the lights off. Every You're doing so good. You're if she'd so walk good. down here, she would never leave me. Because this... She's never done anything like this before, but uh -huh. but that's blocked off, so she can't go that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes, and then I found skydive the land. I heard people talking. I followed it, and I went inside. Okay. You came to hang out with us, right? <laughs> because the car was off, Definitely like more completely yeah. off. Ten minutes. It was remarkable to witness the child passionately defend her mother, yet heartbreaking to observe her mother's neglectful behavior toward her. The officers retained custody of the child while continuing their search for her mother. After an exhaustive four-hour search aided by the K-9 unit, they eventually located her. However, the state and condition in which they found her would leave you in disbelief. Multiple questions. Jason's set a minute out, so I'm assuming he's still coming. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> head back to her car to get her daughter. Where from? Um, Which car? Um, over there. Okay. You realize it's six thirty in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us for four? I do now. For four hours? I do now. Here you go. You know, you understand my frustration with this whole situation, I do. right? What on God's green earth were you doing that your daughter is here by herself? at seven years old, where she's terrified and goes into the bar and asks random bar people to help and call the police. I have no idea, I'm sorry. So, so, sorry ain't gonna cut it. Yeah, sorry, where, 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 she said she was in a car somewhere over there. Can you show us? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. So wait, you were in the car alone? Yes. Whose car is it? I have no idea. Why are you in someone's car you don't even know? I have, I have no idea. You understand how this looks, right? I do. What's your uh, drug of choice? My, my drug of choice is alcohol, but like I, I, I don't know how I ended up in the car. I just woke up in the car, honestly. She was discovered completely intoxicated and unable to recollect the events that had brought her to that state. However, that wasn't even the worst part, as she admitted to waking up in a stranger's car, claiming ignorance about how she had ended up there. The officer continued to question her wanting to know if she was the victim, but her assertions would only leave them in further shock. Um, I, I came here to meet friends. Yeah, so like, all I, all I know is I, I came here to meet friends, um, and then I, I went in the car, yeah, but not. I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. I mean, her, her, her dad died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, in, in the in the heart. Um, like I would never try to leave my seven-year-old alone. So. When you met your friends here, Renan? Yes. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Did you have a drink? Yes. What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is meeting my friend Renan here and then having a drink, and that's it. But, like, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can 
hold my drink. Like, I'm, I'm 35 years old. You know what I mean? Like, that was probably, like, my third drink. You know what I mean? So, um... It shouldn't have knocked me out, but... It was evident that she had willingly left her child unattended in the car to socialize with her boyfriend at the bar. To address all doubts and aspects of the situation, the officer decided to ask about the elephant in the room. Now, I'm not a woman, and yeah, I don't know how things are. Do you feel like maybe you were violated in any way? I don't know, like... I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Were um, your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. Um, my clothes were buttoned, yes. Um, but um, I don't know how I ended up like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, I shouldn't have ended up like this. I, I've never been in a situation. Oh, you're right. Like shouldn't have ended up like this. Right. Right. So it probably shouldn't have come up here with your seven-year-old. Right. Well, I just came up here to, to, to say hi to my friend, have a drink, and then leave. But, like, obviously it didn't turn out that way. It was evident she was not a victim in this situation. Rather, the sole victim was the unfortunate seven-year-old girl left alone in a very dark parking lot. The officers were angered by her reckless behavior and had plenty to say to her about it. You can see where the level of distrust is. Right. Right. Because... Okay. You know, we're not, we're not yes, new kids in the block. I mean, he kind of is, but he's, he's smarter than the right. average could, right? Yes, sir. So, we're not, because right. a seven-year-old was left by herself to walk into a bar of strangers right. who could have been the most god-awful people on the planet, but thankfully they've been nothing but angels the right. entire time. Yes, sir. They have devoted their time since she came in the bar to make sure that this traumatic experience mm -hmm. does not become a severely traumatic experience. Yes, sir. Okay. She was arrested and booked into Volusia County Jail, facing charges of child neglect without great bodily harm, while her child was placed into the custody of the Department of Children and Families. You might think you've seen the worst of them all, but you're very mistaken, as the parent in the next case stands out among them all. Yes, okay. who snitched on me? I want to know who it was first. And then second of all... So you don't see a problem with leaving your children no, in this department? No, because they've been here all the time. They do this all the time. Stop fighting with me. I'm 300 pounds. I can do whatever I'm Stop Several Albuquerque police officers responded to a call from a concerned neighbor, reporting a mother who regularly left her seven-year-old daughter and nine-month-old son unattended for extended periods. While the officers expected to encounter an irresponsible parent, they were completely shocked by the individual they were about to confront. Hey, Ken. How's it going? How are you? Doing pretty well. Okay. Mom's not back yet. Nope. Hello. Hi. Police department. Hi. What's going on, guys? Is everything okay over here? It's okay. We got called out here to check up on you guys. It's okay. Nobody's in trouble. Yeah, nobody's in trouble at all. We're just going to talk to your mom when she comes back home. That's all. It's okay. So we got a call. We've gotten a couple of calls prior to this that they've been coming on, um, but we couldn't get in or check it or anything. Um, how long have you guys been getting calls about this? Like how... for, I've been here for a couple weeks and it's been since day one. Where is your mama? She's going somewhere. Uh -huh. Where did she go, baby? I don't know. She didn't tell me. She didn't tell me. Do you have a phone number for her? The child was clearly frightened, and as the officers engaged in further conversation with her, they began to realize the type of parent they were dealing with. How often do would you say that you take care of your baby brother? Mm -hmm. How long does that usually mm -hmm. take, do you know? It takes 20 minutes to maybe like, yeah. 20 minutes to what? 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay. How long, when did she leave today? Uh, she, so we, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. Honey, there's nothing for you to be upset about. There's nothing for you to be upset about, okay? Your mom made a bad choice by leaving you here. She did. 
She shouldn't have left you here by yourself. You're too young to be here alone, especially with a nine-month-old. Nothing. We're gonna talk to her though. That's not fair. It's not fair for her to be mad at you, and I'm gonna tell her that. The child's fear grew further, saying her mother would be angry about the officer's presence, and these statements fueled the cop's anger even more. After obtaining the mother's phone number, one of the officers called her to return home. Upon her arrival, she was clearly not pleased with the police presence, marking the beginning of a highly eventful interaction. What's that? What do you mean that I want? Yeah, why are you here? Because you left your children unattended. They're fine. Yeah, but they're a little young. And so my daughter knows the drill. She knows to stay home. And you can mind your business and yeah. I could mind my business if there wasn't a violation of There's not a violation of a law. You just need to mind your business. So who the who the fuck is get away from my house? Okay, there's an officer inside your apartment. Is there? Yes, ma'am. Did you call the cops on me? Frank no. Factory 3, we're walking up to the door. Excuse me, you can like take your tone down. Okay. You're in my so house. you don't need to yell at You're your kids house. because you left them here. Do you understand they're, that? She, they're taking care of, they know better. They know better than yes, what? They know. They, they always stay home. Can you and I talk outside, please? No, you can uh, mind your business. Okay. I at have this the point, right to this is, a, this is a child abuse I have investigation. The, no, okay, it's not an that? abuse investigation. Yes. They're not even been abused. Yes, it is no, an abuse. Not. This is a they're neglect not. They're not investigation. Abuse. They're not abuse. Not Can you, like, come out? Go, in the, go inside. Yeah, I would like her to stay inside, and I don't want to see... I want her to see her mom upset like this. Can you come on? Because I want to talk. Did you call the cops on me? She didn't. Alright, let's talk over here. Who called the cops on me? First off, I want to know who called the cops on me. First of all, there's a few things we need to work out before you decide who, which of your neighbors ratted on you. Yes, okay? who snitched on me? I want to know who... The mother, discovered to be 27-year-old Samantha Sanchez, appeared more concerned with identifying who had informed the police rather than the welfare of her distressed children. And that wasn't even the most concerning aspect of the situation, as you would soon discover. Second of all... So you don't see a problem with leaving your children no, in this No, because they've apartment. been here all the time. They do this all the time. And That's they're taking care of. So you're upsetting her and making her cry? Uh -huh. and you're just walking down a No, bit? you can close my door and get out of my house. That's no, what you it's can. It's a criminal investigation. No, it's not. It's yes, not. It Nothing's been criminally done. Actually, yes, this is no, a crime. No, it's not. Okay, well, I'm going to leave, sir, so um, you can, like... So are, are you requesting that uh, CYFD takes your children? Is that what you're requesting? <laughs> and if CYFD takes my f***ing um, children, I will be suing the officers okay. and everything. So right, so do you right wanna, now, this is child abuse, do you okay? What you've done here do you is child abuse. Take the lawsuit. Yeah. Take the lawsuit. Okay, Absolutely. then get So are you wanting to go to jail? Is that what you're wanting? I'm not even doing anything wrong to my kids. My kids are taken care of. Okay. Everything's so, fine. So here's the thing. You're making her upset right Come now, here. okay? You can talk to her for a second, but we, you need, can to, leave my we need to sort alone. this out. I leave them out of the no, you left your kids alone. They're and that's why fine. We're here. They have everything. They are fine, officer. Yeah. Yes, we're fine. Why are you Dude, picking on us? This. She continued to justify her actions as correct, and her refusal to cooperate and allow the police to perform their duties would inevitably result in trouble. And it was only a matter of time before this finally happened. I don't want to be under we can, arrest. We can no. either have a conversation about this civilly, or you can go in the back of a police car. Do you understand how that works? Okay, well, let's talk, and you need to okay. dock your you voice down about so 20. Not upsetting her so much. I don't need to walk away from my doorway, sir. So, okay. let's talk. Go ahead and put your hands no, behind your back. No, I want to talk. Put your hands behind your back. Don't pull away from us. Go to my car. Hurry, go to my car and tell Thurman to come get in the van, the baby. I need the other. I need another cop. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Why don't you mind your business? Stop pulling away from us. Stop fighting. Get with off of me now. Get off. Get on your stomach. Let go. This is child abuse by living him in there like that. 
Her arrest was long in the making and one might expect her to behave more responsibly and calmly now that she was under arrest. However, that assumption would be mistaken as her behavior only worsened. Stop kicking the police! No! Get the fuck off me now! If there's anything on my arm! Stop fighting with me. I'm 300 pounds! I can do whatever I want. Stop pinching me, are you serious? Yep. Wow. So one of the children is with somebody over there in the parking lot. Okay, the baby's in there. If you want to grab it, that's fine. Leave my kids alone! Don't touch my kids! I don't give you permission. Kid. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Unreal. You're unreal. Un. My business. This is our business. No, it's not. Now you have to go to jail for battery on a police officer. I don't give a f what I gotta do. And I'm not cooperating. She clearly didn't know how the law works, and her belief that she could dictate how the officers conducted their duties indicated she was clearly in her own world. As she continued to resist arrest, additional officers to be called in to assist in escorting her to the back of the patrol vehicle, where she continued to cause more trouble. Okay. I will get my dismissed anyways. There you go. There's no evidence. Besides yeah. battery officer fucking fighting, that's it. The fact that you weren't here is like No, there isn't. They'll be, they'll be dismissed. Well, my cases are always first. dismissed. I'm, I'm sure the judge will love to hear you say that. Her confidence in getting her case dismissed highlighted how partial the American justice system can be. She was charged with battery, assault on an officer, child abandonment, and driving without a license. She accepted a plea deal resulting in the dismissal of all charges, validating her earlier assurance. However, the spotlight returned to the American justice system six months later when this same woman, having previously received a lenient punishment, shot off her son's toe during an argument with her boyfriend. Shockingly, she received only a one-year suspended jail sentence for this despicable act. Our next case brings us to Florida, where one of the most irresponsible mothers meets her downfall at the hands of the police. On July 31st, 2018, multiple Marion County Sheriff's deputies responded to a report of two young children, later identified as a two-year-old and a four-year-old, found wandering alone on the road. Upon arrival, officers encountered the children in terrible conditions. They were inadequately clothed, infested with lice, and had open sores on their feet, legs, arms, and face. That's not even the worst part. While officers were attempting to determine where the children came from, they spotted another four children on the same roadway, all six siblings, also in terrible conditions. Their mother, later identified as 31-year-old Sarah Reskin, was found to have left them at home alone all day while she was at work. They were escorted home only to find the residents lacking running water and electricity, covered in dog feces, and infested with flies. When Resco arrived home hours later, the officers were clearly not happy with her, and what she was faced with, she clearly had coming. Ma'am, ma'am, can I just go get my shoes out of my car? No, you can't. Okay. Let go of me! Stop, stop. Are you kidding stop me? Stop now! Stop, stop. Are you kidding Don't. me? Oh I got her, I got her. What did I do? Oh my god, are you kidding me, Cassidy? Seriously, right now? I need you to get Robin, you have my password to my phone. Please stop for two seconds. I just have to get, make sure they have the password to my phone. I'm not they, resisting. They will get the password to your phone. Please yeah. let my hands go. Right. I'm Take not trying to. You don't have to push me. I will walk. So please stop pushing me. <laughs> the key is in it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Please sit down. I have a dress on. Okay, okay we'll turn around. Down. Turn around. I can't okay. do it like yes, this. Yes, you can. Sit. There you go. Resco was arrested and charged with six counts of child neglect, leading to the Department of Children and Families taking custody of her children. If you liked this video, YouTube thinks you will like these videos even more.